Hey guys, welcome to Club UX. In the field of user research, we more than often hear about the terms quantitative research and qualitative research. But what does this mean? In today's video, we are going to discuss about what is quantitative research, how to conduct it, and we will also go through the pros and cons of quantitative research. We also have a video on qualitative research. Go check that out if you want to learn about that too. So, quantitative research is the type of research where the data is collected and analyzed in numeric form. It allows you to understand how prevalent the problem is by looking at the numeric results. Quantitative research answer questions like how much, how many, how often. For example, you could measure how frequently a link was clicked. The data that is collected by the quantitative research is then analyzed by user researcher or the data analyst with various mathematical and statistical tools and then presented in the form of various visualization methods like graphs, pie charts, bars, etc. So quantitative research is very fast user research method. However, for the result to be effective, you need to have a larger sample size. The larger the sample size, the more effective the result is. One of the best things about quantitative research is that the data, the result that is driven is unambiguous. You cannot question the validity of the result because it is in numeric form. To summarize, in quantitative research, you can quantify data, validate and make decisions quickly. Quantitative research can be conducted by surveys or experiments. Surveys can be conducted in person with the participants or even with the help of various online tools like SurveyMonkey is one of the examples where you can just fill the questionnaire online and then send to your participants. In quantitative research, the kind of questions that are asked are closed-ended questions. Closed-ended questions are the ones where participants can only answer in yes or no or the participant is provided with a set of options and they have to choose among them or they are also provided the rating scale. Surveys are often a mixture of MCQs, rating scale and sometimes in fact a small text box is added under the question where the participants can write their answers. With this let's discuss some of the pros and cons of conducting quantitative research. So some of the pros of conducting quantitative research are data collection is fairly quick and because the data collection is quick you can get information from a larger sample size we also discussed that for the quantitative research to be effective you need to have a larger sample size which can run over hundred thousands or maybe even more than that data can be collected from different demographics randomly which can be then statistically applied to the larger population which is under study also participant remains anonymous so because participants are not really required to reveal their personal information or identity, so their privacy remains intact. Research can be done remotely by using online tools like SurveyMonkey. The analysis is pretty straightforward. So user researcher or the data analyst makes use of various mathematical and statistical tools to analyze the information which is pretty straightforward and is also easy and efficient. Let's discuss some of the cons of the quantitative research now. One of the biggest problems with quantitative research is that the reasoning behind the results and the answers can't be questioned. In fact, you cannot follow up on answers. It is not possible because the survey is completed. Also, the individual characteristics cannot be generalized. Now we know that in quantitative research, everything revolves around the numeric value. But focusing just on numbers can be misleading because you often tend to overlook a lot of information which could potentially benefit your business. Also, quantitative research tends out to be more costly. Because for the effective results, you need to have larger sample size. Larger sample size means a lot of data which has to be analyzed. So a lot of time, corporates end up spending a lot of money to get effective results. Okay, so I hope that the concepts around quantitative research is now clear to you. Go check out our website yukti.io and you will find a lot of information on user research. You have any questions then you can ask us in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos every week.